guys hi I want you to meet my friend Sharon and um, Sharon is a friend who works at um, a local place where I'm volunteering and she has an amazing story that I think would interest you guys and I'm basically doing this video so that you can hear her tell her story herself so then you can help as your heart tells you to so Shara, why don't you just go ahead and tell your story hi my name is Shara and I'm a mother of five and I'm in a bit of difficulty I recently lost the place that I was living by fire It's kind of difficult. My kids are separated from me. I don't get a tight dance. I would like to have them all back together with me. But I'm very unfortunate. Or it's hard. I'm going to really do that by myself. Right. Why is it hard for you to do that by yourself? Because you know, see, I only work two days a week. Right. And are you making minimum wage? No. Making less than? Less than that. Okay. I heard a story, Sharon, which I which grabbed my heart, and I want you to, to tell us about it. Tell me about the dresser and moving it from downtown and how long you had it before you lost it and why you bought the dresser. Well, to I recently rent the place, I bought that dresser recently. Also, a wardrobe too. So, I had to pay somebody to push it on in a hand cart from downtown to where I was going to live. It's a good one. Good distance. But how many hours it took you? Oh, three hours. It took me to get it there. I'm going to buy some dresser. You have to take it one day and then the wardrobe the another day. So, two days. So, basically, six hours. Basically, six hours. And then, how long did you have it before the fire? Partially, but that is a three months. Then I lost everything. And I heard you were buying that dresser so that your son could also come and live with you. Uh, yeah, my son and my daughter. Right, right. Sharon, tell me how you felt when you heard about the fire. Tell me what you thought. Thought. I was wondering, is this real? Normally, you see these things on TV. You don't know, know if it's real until when it comes to your door. So that's when I saw it for the first time at my door. Yeah, I was devastated. I cried. And I like, <laughs> what did they say? You had life. <laughs> so you can't give up. I do felt it still. And so the fire truck drove out and you're left standing there and yeah, what are you everybody feeling? Left. Everybody left and now you're wondering what to do, where to turn, what is going to happen. So they say, oh, you had life. You should be thanks for this. still have life. So I'm trying to hold on to that. I have life. But once there's life, there's hope. How did this affect your kids? I know your one daughter had an exam when all this went down. She Tell us cried. about that. She cried all day at school. Her school friend had to call me. I said she had to hold her because she partially had dropped down. I know that's what she did. She cried. My son, he sits every day in the pan. Mommy, the earth's born down for two. I want to know what caused it to burn down. I don't know what caused the fire. I constantly tell him what caused the fire. I constantly ask so where we're going to live. So he wants to know where we're, where we're going to yes, live. Yes, every minute he wants, Mommy, where are we going to live? I tell him I don't know yet, son. Where is he living now? He's staying by my father. I don't really have a plan anymore. He's there. Right, right. Sean, is there anything you want to say to the people who are watching, who are listening to you? This is what I would say. I don't really know you guys, and you don't know me. But I am very grateful.
grateful if you guys can help me and I will thank you very much. And may God bless you all. There you have it guys. So I add my plea to Sharon's plea and we're doing a GoFundMe clearly. That's where you'll see this video. And I so I just encourage you um, to just help me help Sharon. Let's help Sharon together and let's be a community of support to her. Um, let's be God's hands and feet to her. You all have a great day and thank you very much.